Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to another week of Kids Church Online. I'm so glad that you have joined us. And whenever you are watching this, I hope that you're taking time to listen and to learn from the Word of God. It's so exciting that we get to take time to listen to God, to hear Him speak to us, and to know that He wants to teach us His kids. So this week, let's take time to hear what God wants to say to us. Before I begin, let's take a moment and pray. Father, we thank you so much for this time together. God, we thank you that we get to come and to learn more about you and to hear you speak to us. As we listen, Lord, we ask that you would help our bodies to be calm, help our minds to be open like sponges, ready to absorb everything you have to teach us, help our ears to be open and help us to learn and grow and do what you've asked us to do. We give you this morning and we ask you to teach us. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Boys and girls, it's time for another round of Wheel Unfortunate. We've had some pretty unfortunate tasks have to happen. And today I have the Oldham family joining us. I have Sherry, Isaac, and Madeline, and they are going to spin the Wheel Unfortunate today. Are you ready to see who it's going to be? I have their names right here. Let's shake them up. Ready? Who's it going to be? I'm going to blow and see which one's left in my hand. Ready? Oh. Only one left. Who do you think it's going to be? Madeline! <laughs> Madeline's going to spin the wheel, unfortunate. Madeline's spinning the wheel. Let's see what she has to do. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Do you want to do a drum roll? Let's see what it's going to be. Do you think it's going to be a good one or a bad one? Oh, take a noodle bath. She is going to have to cook up some noodles and have a bath in a bin of noodles. Ready, Madeline? That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. Wow, thanks for letting me come to church with you. I'm so excited. Ever since I became a Christian last week, I can't stop telling Jesus how much I love him. Did you know that to worship God means to tell him of his worth? Oh, uh, sure. I guess I never really thought about it. I can't stop thinking about it. I just keep telling God of his worth. I can't stop worshiping him. I mean, all those awful sins, forgiven. I'm saved. How cool is that? Yeah, that's neat. Don't you just love to worship him? Uh-huh. I'm so happy that I get to worship him with other followers. Believers, Sam. They're called believers. Well, sure we believe, but then we follow. We follow the most awesome person ever. And we worship. Oh boy, we're here. I yeah. can hardly wait. Well, yeah, but before you go in there, Sam, uh -huh. there's something I have to tell you. What do you mean? I, I, well, I don't want you to make a fool of yourself. You see, people don't get excited about worship. I mean, we do it every week. But that's what's so cool about it. We can worship whenever we want to. You mean you worship outside of church? Of course! Every day, I love to talk to Jesus. You, you make Jesus sound like just a friend. There's nothing just about it. He is my friend. He's God. I know. And he makes it possible for me to have a personal relationship with the Father. Isn't that amazing? He's so worthy of my praise. Come on, I'm going to go find my seat and get ready to worship. What? I, I just don't get it. Why is he so excited? Like... He's just so excited to worship God. I don't understand. Oh, hey, Jenna. Hi there. 
Hey, who's the new guy? Oh, his name's Sam. What's he so ecstatic about? Well, he's excited to worship. He's excited about singing songs? Mm-hmm, and praying. You mean he thinks that there's something so neat about being able to communicate with God, the creator of the universe, the almighty, all-powerful Lord and Savior, because his sins are forgiven? Wow. wow. <gasps> hey, wait, wait, wait for up, us. wait, please. You can worship God in here. You can even worship God right here in your own bedroom, even with your family. You can even worship God here in your own backyard. Hey Bethel kids, so you'll notice I'm not in the same spot I always am. I'm in a different spot. And today, that's for a reason. Because you just saw some different places you can worship, and you know what? You can even worship God from right here on your very own couch. How cool is that? God isn't limited by where we are. We can worship Him wherever we are because He is everywhere with us. So you don't have to be at church or at Bethel Kids to worship Him. You can worship Him wherever you are. Now, a couple weeks ago, we started learning about worship, and we learned some of the different ways we can worship. And I want to remind you of some of those. There was an acronym. Remember what that means? That each letter of the word worship stands for a way that we can worship God. And here's the review. So remember these. W, we can win others to Jesus. We can share our faith with them. O, obey God and do what he's asking us to do. R, we can read the Bible. S, we can sing praises. That's what we're going to be talking more about today. H, we can help others. I, we can invest in God's work. You might hear it called tithing or giving. Or a P, we can pray to the Lord. There's so many ways that we can worship God. But today, we're going to be talking about singing praises to Him. Now, this is probably one of the first things that comes to mind when you think of worship, right? We often just think worship. We think Sunday morning or at Bethel Kids when we sing these songs and, oh, this is my favorite song. But there's so much more to worship than that. I have a thought for you. Have you ever heard of the five love languages? There's quality time, acts of service, gifts, uh, physical touch, and words of affirmation. Those are all different ways that we can show love and the ways that we like to feel loved from others. But you know what? Since worship is how we show our love to God, it's how we show Him how much He's worth to us, there's also different ways that we can worship Him and different ways we can sing and praise Him to show Him His worth. Because God created us all so differently and uniquely and He's given us different ways to worship Him. So I'm going to read some Bible verses for you that talk about some of those different ways we can worship Him. First of all, in Exodus 34, chapter 8. Don't forget to write these verses down if you have a pen and paper so you can go back and look at them later. So Exodus chapter 34, verse 8, says Moses bowed to the ground at once and worshipped. You know, boys and girls, sometimes you might see some of the adults around you worshipping, and they might bow down, they might get real low, and they might crouch down. It's a way that we can show honor to God. We bow to Him, just like we would bow to a king or a queen. God is our king, and we can bow to Him in worship. Psalm 46.10, you can write this one down too, Psalm 46.10. It says, be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted among the earth. So cool. You know that first two words? It said, be still. We can sit still. You know, this is one of my favorite places in my whole entire house to sit and worship. This is one of my very favorite places. And you know my other favorite place? Outside in nature. I love to just sit still and be in awe and wonder of what God has made. I'll listen to music and I'll worship Him as I just be still. I like to close my eyes and hold open my hands to just praise Him and thank Him for how amazing He is. Another verse comes to us from Psalm 47 verse 1. Psalms 47 verse 1 if you're taking notes. 
It says, clap your hands, all you nations. Shout to God with cries of joy. You know, sometimes I ask you to clap your hands. Pastor Melissa, when she's leading us in worship, she'll ask us to clap our hands. It's something special we can do to celebrate how good God is. Have you ever been to a sports game or to something, to a concert, a celebration, and when we want to show something, that so show someone that they did a great job, what do we do? We clap our hands to celebrate. So we can do that for God too. We can celebrate by clapping our hands and showing him how wonderful he is and how much we love him. And the other thing is that we can, we can shout to God with cries of joy. You know, when you're cheering for your best friend in a race or in their favorite sport, we cheer for them and we shout. We say, you're doing amazing. Keep going. I love you. And that's what we can do for God too. We can tell him, you are amazing. I love you. You are worthy of my praise. You are so, so good. We can shout praises to God. Now the other one, another one for us that we can learn from is Psalms 95 verse 6. Can you write that down? Psalm 95 verse 6. Come, let us bow down in worship. Let us kneel before the Lord our Maker. So we already talked about bowing down. We can also kneel. It's just a way to remind us that God is so much bigger than us. That we get to put ourselves lower because God is so big and so worthy. And then another verse for us. This is the last one I have for you right now. Psalm 134 verse 2. Psalm 134 verse 2 says, Lift up your hands in the sanctuary and praise the Lord. We can lift our hands up. You might see people doing that in the sanctuary. But remember, wherever you are worshiping and singing praises to God, you can lift your hands up. Up. Again, to celebrate him, to lift him up. Sometimes, you know what I like to do? I like to imagine that there's something in my hands and I'm giving it to God. Maybe it's my worries, my fears. Maybe it's just celebrating him and thanking him for all he does. And I get to put that in my hands and celebrate God and worship him by lifting up my hands. So you know what? So many incredible ways that we can worship God by singing and praising Him, by shouting and clapping our hands. We get to be creative because God created us that way. But you know what? Did you know the Bible says that if we don't sing and shout those praises to God, the stones will? What? Do you believe me? Do you think I'm making it up? It's the truth. The Bible says that if we don't worship him, that the stones will. Could you imagine a stone singing praises and shouting praises to God? Well, God created it too. And we're his creation too. But God has called us to worship him. So today I have something special for you. But I'm going to read to you from Luke chapter 19, verse 37 to 40. This is Luke Chapter 19, verse 37 to 40 says this. When he came near the place where the road goes down the Mount of Olives, the whole crowd of disciples began joyfully to praise God in loud voices for all the miracles they had seen. Blessed is the king who comes in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven and glory in the highest. But some of the Pharisees in the crowd said to Jesus, Teacher, rebuke your disciples. They weren't very happy with them. But Jesus said, I tell you, he replied, if they keep quiet, the stones will cry out. You know, these people were so excited about the miracles that Jesus had done. They were singing and shouting and praising and thanking him. And the disciples went, Hey, you didn't get them in trouble. That's not right what they're doing. And Jesus said, excuse me, they should be singing praises to me. And if they don't, the stones will. So we have a special job to sing praises to God, to thank him for the good things he is doing. So here's a special extra activity for you this week. You're going to need a couple things because we're going to make a maraca using stones to remind us that we have a special job to worship God. And if we don't, the stones will. And I don't know about you, but I would rather do that job than a stone. So here's what you need. You need a plastic Easter egg. 
you need some stones. Any stones will do. I grabbed these ones from my driveway. You'll also need two plastic spoons and you'll need some tape. So here is what you do. You take your egg, open it up, add all your stones inside and close it up. Now, if your egg doesn't click together really tight, you might want to tape it together first. And you take your two spoons and you put them around. Then you need some tape. If you have some washi tape, some fun pattern tape, that would be awesome. You could use that. I just have some green painter's tape. Tape it up. You see how it's starting to look like a maraca? Then you want to wrap the handles in some tape to hold it nice and tight. If you want to, you can wrap the whole thing in tape and paint it or decorate it. Use some markers, however you want. But look, we have a maraca to remind us that it's our job to worship, not the stones. I don't want the stones to worship, do you? No, that's for you and I to do. We can even use this maraca to help us to make a joyful noise to God. Now, boys and girls, I hope that you have learned something this morning. But as we worship, let's remember to thank God to praise him for all the incredible things he is doing in and through us. He is such a good God, and we get to praise him with our whole hearts and tell him how much we love him. So I hope you'll continue to remember that and show God how much you love him as you worship him this week. But now it's time for our blessing, a time where I share a Bible verse with you, a promise of God as something that we get to do. So let's hold our hands open as I read this to you, because I believe that this is God's word for you. So let me read to you from Psalms 111, verse 1. And it says, Praise the Lord. I will praise the Lord with all my heart. Boys and girls, may you know that God has created you to worship, that he wants to hear your praises, and he wants us to give him your whole heart. May you give God your whole heart in worship. Let me pray with you. Father, we thank you so much that you are such a loving God. And we thank you that we get to sing to you, that you want to hear our praises. So we pray that our songs and our, our praises to you would be a sweet sound to your ears. We thank you for an opportunity to use our creativity, to clap and to dance and to sing and to shout to you. So use us this week to sing sweet sounds to your ears. And we thank you, God, for another opportunity to worship you each and every day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We've just heard from the Word of God, and I tell you this every week, but I so believe it, and I hope you do too. Now it's time for what I think is the most important part of our Kids Church online experience. It's time to listen to God, to see what Holy Spirit wants to say to you, and how you can learn and grow and do what He's asking you to do. So I'm going to give you two minutes to do that right now, but I want to remind you of some of the things that we can use to help us listen to God. So number one, give all your distractions to God. You can actually sit there and throw them up in the air if you need to. And give all your worries to him too because he cares so much about those. Then number two, you can invite Holy Spirit to speak to you. In your own words, ask him to speak just to you and he will. Because number three, we're going to listen for his loving voice. He wants to teach you and say special things to you. And number four, you're going to write down what you heard because God will speak and he's going to ask us to do something. So we need to write it down so we know what to do and obey. Boys and girls, I'm going to pray with you and then I want you to sit. Maybe you can hold your hands open like this, ready to receive. Because when we want to receive a gift, we don't stand there like this or like this. We hold our hands open. So maybe you can sit there with your hands open, ready to receive from Holy Spirit what he wants to say to you. Let's pray together. Holy Spirit, we thank you that you want to speak to us. So right now we give you our ears and we ask you to speak. We invite you to teach us and to speak to us because we are listening and we give you this time. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.
It's time for our verse of the week, and I've got Isaac and Madeline here to help me this week. I hope you've been taking time each week to practice your verse and to memorize it. It is so important that we let God's word stay in our memories so that we can learn it and grow from it. So I hope you're taking time to learn it each week and send me your videos. I love seeing you practice. So today, this verse comes to us from Psalms 86, verse 12. You're gonna follow along with Isaac and Madeline. Are you ready? Here we go. It goes like this. Psalms 86, 12. Psalms 86, 12. I will praise you, Lord my God. I will praise you, Lord my God. With all my heart. With all my heart. I will glorify your name forever. I will glorify your name forever. Amazing. Now we're all going to do it together. Are you ready to do it together? Here we go. Psalms 86, 12. I will praise you, Lord my God, with all my heart. I will glorify your name forever. Great work, boys and girls. Keep practicing that verse. God loves to hear your praises. He loves to hear you worshiping him. And we get to give him our whole entire hearts when we do that. Keep up the great work and I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for joining us for another week of Kids Church Online. I love being able to connect with you each week, but I want you to do me a favor. This week, can you reach out to at least one friend and share this video with them so that they can join you for Kids Church Online. Ask them what they've learned and share what you've learned with them. And be sure to do the same with your family. But number one, share it with your friends. Maybe they don't even know we're having fun with Kids Church Online. And I'm sure they would love to join you for Kids Church Online. So be sure to share it with them. But again, before we go, I have something for you. We always do our discussion question and our challenge. So up first, here's your challenge for the week. This week, I challenge you to find somewhere new to sing praises to God. It's not just for in the sanctuary. It's not just for at Bethel Kids. You get to sing praises to God wherever you are. So this week, I challenge you, find a song. Maybe it's your favorite song that we sing at Bethel Kids. Find a new location, a new place. Maybe it's your bedroom, your, your kitchen table, your backyard. Find somewhere new this week to sing praises to God. Now here's your discussion questions for the week. Are you ready? Discuss these with a family member, a friend. Discuss these over lunch or whenever you're watching this and take time to really think about these questions. Number one, where can we worship and praise? Hmm, I gave you a clue for that one already. Number two, what is praise? And number three, why is praise so important? Take time to discuss those questions this week and I'll see you right back here next week for another week of Kids Church Online. Let me pray with you before you go. God, thank you so much for another week to gather together to learn and to grow and to hear from your word. Lord, we ask that you would teach us this week, that you would meet us and that we would see how incredible you are as we take time to praise you. You are such a good, good God. And we're so excited to step into that praise, to step into that worship, and to praise you because you are so good. We give you this week, God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.